Good morning everyone. Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emma Ramadul Patria. You can call me Emma. I'm from Faculty Teacher Training and Education, University of Matalu Anwar, Banten. Dear Honorable Ms. Admin Nurahima Jaya, MPD, as my lecture in speaking of professional context, how are you, Miss? Are you fine? I'm fine, but not normally. Still six and seven, but don't worry, Miss. I'll try my best for doing anything without lying in my bed, except in the night. Okay, I'm standing here. I want to start telling not about such as once upon a time. No, no, no. This is just about history of Banten. Okay, let's next to our history. History of Banten. Banten is in the rich historical relic from the megalithic era to the Japanese colonizers. Although, if we go there today, there are a lot of public infrastructure left behind. The variety of relics there reflect the height of ancestral civilization. The plurality of the Banten to in in national level with such tolerance among ethnic and religious peoples at the time. Banten was not just a figure of Sultan Agung Tirtayasa or General Dendels who forced the people to walk the road for 1,000 kilometers from Anyar to Panarukan in East Java. He was more than that. Old Banten has remarkable scientific role and endless source of history to be covered because it was closely associated with the map in Central Java. Pajajaran in West Java or Bogu Pakuan Kingdom Historical and Archaeological the progress of a civilization can also be seen from the remains of the buildings there. In 1552, when the Kratan began construction, our ancestors evidently developed the technology to filter clean water. At the rear of the palace, if the front of the palace was assumed to be a conduit, in front of it are six pockets, formerly made of yellow iron, yellow iron, which is called a gold fountain for filtered clean water. The source of fresh water in a source of Tasharni Springs is about 1,5 miles. 2,5 five kilometers from the Kraton Surosuan. Before it is used for drinking, it has to go through three filling. Tasik Ardi water source has remained almost as natural today and is one of the tourist spots in the old Banten region. Although a slightly smaller discharge of water is used. The aqueduct to Kraton, meanwhile, was maintained in good repair, despite partially converting land and roads. Inside the ex Karasidian Banten region from 2000 to the province. There are Salbury Banten that houses megalithic site. There are old Banten where the former Kraton Suroswan, Kraton Kaibon, the Evalokites Vara Temple, the former Sibli, stronghold built by the Dutch 
VOC. Look at 10 kilometers north of the city. In the attack city itself, there are several buildings that file into the category of residential reservation. The transformation can be done at random. There are at least four historic buildings. The state building, now office of Gubernur Banten. Former Banten residents built in the 1800s. The Jong building. Now attack. And the former Dutch Marsos base built in the 1900s. Now the headquarters of Korem. 064. Maulana Yusuf Banten. The buildings are relatively good. However, prisons and other buildings that house the police in need of maintenance and cleaning. The four-door prison that was estimated to be a century old is now a home for the police persecution. The four-door prison that was estimated to be a century old is now a home for the police prisoners. A small question remains about just how royal history of Banten. When? From the 16th to the 19th century, until now, remains unsolved. The story of Banten was yet to be fully realized. The parts studied by new archaeologists are severed. Nevertheless, the result of the study bear testimony to Banten's historical value. Evidence of the existence of the Banten Empire is found among the ancient manuscripts of Prince Wangsakerta Cirebon of the 17th century. What was the glory of the past? Please welcome the old Banten Museum in front of the Surosuan former Kraton, managed by the Office of Historic and Archaeological Banten. It is included a picture of two ambassador Kraton Banten who were sent to England in 1682. The two diplomatic envoys are Kiai Ngabehi Wirapraja and Kiai Abi Yahya Sendana. Archaeological remains of Banten Old Center of Ghostly Research in 1100 and 54 said Banten's history mainly occurred in the 16th century up. Between the 12th and the 15th centuries, Banten was known as the port for the British government at Sunda. Growth in the region was booming. The town only about a mile, two kilometers, from the old Banten government center, was frequented by traders from Gujarat, in India, China, Malay, Portuguese, and the Netherlands. At the time, the flow of goods in and out of the harbor was so smooth that Banten economy advanced rapidly. During the reign of the Sultan Agung Tirtayasa, Bulen was known as the paper exporter. Spices invited many merchants from various countries to stay here. It is not uncommon in the region to have structures over one year old. Like the temples, the old Banten Mosque, and the former Arab Indian and China's village. Okay, I think my speech until here.
Thanks for your attention and thanks for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.